everyone, Screaming Geek Media here. I am Jerry the Geek. Uh, today we're going to talk about A Nightmare on Elm Street on 4K. But before we get into that, if you like physical media, if you like 4Ks, Blu-rays, even DVDs, if you like home theater movies in general, you know, please check out my other videos on my channel because I do these reviews, I do unboxings, collection updates, I do discussions. You know, check that stuff out, hit the like button, subscribe, turn your bell notifications on. So let's talk about the 4K of the original Nightmare on Elm Street. You know, this came out in 1984, so it's celebrating its 40th anniversary. You know, directed by uh, Wes Craven. You got uh, Heather Langenkamp, uh, Johnny Depp, his first movie ever. And you don't even recognize, I mean, if, if you did not know Johnny Depp, I don't, you know, I'm not enough of a fan. I do not know that's him. And of course, Robert England playing a, a Great Freddy. Great classic uh, movie, you know, one of the all-time, you know, when it comes to the Mount Rushmore of uh, horror movies, you know, definitely Freddy's up there with Jason, Michael, and probably, you can probably put, it's hard to tell what the fourth one would be, everyone would probably be different on that, but, so the top three is definitely those, you know, Freddy is such an iconic character, and the whole premise is uh, being, you know, being killed while you're uh, sleeping, dreaming. So that's so cool. You know, it makes, you know, the fear of falling asleep. Now, this 4K release comes from Warner Brothers. Just came out this past week. And an incredible transfer here. You know, I have not watched this for a long time. I never bought this on Blu-ray. I had the DVD set many, many years ago. And apparently, I don't have it anymore. So I must have got rid of it when I thought I would get the Blu-ray. And I never did. But anyways, it was finally good to see it on 4K. Warner Brothers hit out of the park with this one, in my opinion. They definitely did a great job cleaning it up but keeping that raw, you know, tight grain structure. Has some, you know, rich details. Has that depth. The textures are there. You know, the shadows. The blacks and whites are nice and solid. Uh, colors really jump off the screen here. You know, this does not have Dolby Vision. You know, this is just standard HDR10. So even without Dolby Vision, this is incredible. The, you know, the reds really pop off, especially the, his, you know, his sweater he wears, you know, the red and green. Glenn's red car really pops off. It's very vivid. The blood really jumps off the screen. And of course, some, you know, as far as the details and textures, a couple of really noticeable things is, uh, in the home, you can see the, you know, the, you know, home decor. Very ugly, very dated. You see the, the couch. You can just see all the textures and designs there. The lampshades, uh, wall textures. So this really screams phenomenal job from beginning to end on this thing. Now, as far as comparing the Blu-ray, again, I did not own this Blu-ray. So I can't really judge how, you know, being an upgrade or not. I can only talk about, you know, the Blu-ray that came with this which is region-free, even though this is a UK release, the Blu-ray will play. As far as, a, you know, if does this Blu-ray have the new transfer that was done with the new scan? You know, did they use the previous scans and just pour it over? That I do not know. You know, if anyone knows out there, you know, please comment below. But, you know, compared with the Blu-ray here, the Blu-ray looks phenomenal. So very little differences. I mean, for the most part, the average consumer is not going to see a difference between the Blu-ray and the 4K. Now, I have seen a couple other reviews out there that they said their previous Blu-rays look pretty damn good. So your 4K is only going to have minor upgrades here. Now for the audio here. They gave us a Dolby Atmos track and a DTS HD Master Audio 2.0, which they took the original mono track and they just kind of split it up into 2.0. I did listen through most of the movie with Adobe Atmos, but I did flip back and forth uh, multiple times throughout the movie. Both of them are very well done. They have a very nice, well balanced across the board. Uh, surround mix is, is definitely is dated. It's not as bad as some of the, I'm, I shouldn't say bad. This is, this is very well done. It just, they don't, there's nothing that really utilizes the surrounds. Basically, it's the music and atmosphere that really kicks in for all the speakers. But there's no 
no real use of surrounds, in my opinion. Just not there. Uh, dialogue is nice and clean throughout on both tracks. Um, I actually think the dialogue was just a hair better on a 2.0 compared to Dolby Atmos. That is just being me if I'm being really, you know, have to be honest about it. But, I mean, you can make everything out. It just, there's something about the dialogue on the Dolby Atmos track that doesn't sound as good. It just has to be with the, how it envelops you. It's not front heavy or just, I don't know, it's hard to describe. It just, you can tell a little bit of a difference. Plus, the Dolby Atmos track, even though it's a higher, a little bit higher volume, there's also some background uh, noise. I wouldn't say noise. It's just background audio that just maybe shouldn't be there. That it is. So it's not perfect, but it's a damn good mix overall. Yeah, I never noticed the uh, the dialogue. You know, center ch is always supposed to be center channel driven. Uh, every once in a while, I've, I've talked about this in some of my reviews. Sometimes the dialogue will bleed off to the left or right. And it does not do that here. So that is very well done. Now for the packaging. I'm not going to show everything. If you want to see the details of this whole packaging, I just did an unboxing of it yesterday when I got it. You know, you know I do love this uh, VHS style style. The hard box case. You know, Warner Brothers did an awesome job. They, you know, really paid homage to the roots of when this came out. But the steel book has the original artwork on it. Again, check out the unboxing. To, you know, see all the, you know, the, you know, the art cards, the fold-out poster, and all that. What's included? See much more better detail of it. Just didn't want to waste all your time showing that here. Now, as far as the bonus features here, we do have a couple commentaries, but the commentaries are only on a theatrical version. You don't get the commentaries with the, you know, unrated cut, which I don't I haven't watched this enough to know the difference between the two. But from what I've uh, read and seen online, the difference between the theatrical and unrated is only seconds. It's not even a minute worth of footage. It's just... Maybe a little bit more blood and gore. So, you know, the commentary, as I said, uh, uh, the first one is with uh, director Russ Craven, co-stars Heather Langenkamp and John Saxon, and cinema photographer Jocks uh, Haitken. And uh, other commentary, you have uh, Russ Craven, Robert England, Heather Langenkamp, Heather Langenkamp, and... Uh, Ronnie uh, Blakely, and also producer Robert Shea, and co-producer Sarah Risher. Then we have alternate endings, and we have uh, featurettes, The House That Freddy Built, which I think has, if I remember right, it has to do with uh, when they made this, um, New Line Cinema was on the verge of bankruptcy. They were just going, so this basically brought them out, so they, you know, basically brought you know, uh, New Line Cinema back from the brink, you know, so that's why they call it the House of Freddy Built because of, because of this movie, you know, that breath, you know, breathed new life into the company. And then we have, uh, Never Sleep Again, The Making of Nightmare on Elm Street, and Night Terrors, The Origins of Wes Craven's Nightmares. And also we have, uh, Ready Freddy Focus Points where you have, you get to see alternate takes, and learn filmmaking secrets behind the nightmare by jumping to video highlights while watching the movie. I did not have time to watch the bonus features. I don't know if anything here is new. Because I know on uh, online on YouTube, there's definitely been a lot of videos popping up, interviews with Heather Langenkamp and Robert England. So I'm not sure if they include that with this or not. I didn't have time to delve into the bonus features guy. Just finished watching this yesterday before the wife got home, so I didn't have a chance to check anything else out. So to wrap it up here, incredible release here. Great to finally see such an iconic movie on 4K, finally. 
Now you do have three versions of this available, so you have some different choices. You've got the, just a standard bare bone uh, with a slip cover here. Uh, Walmart is uh, selling for $23.79. Uh, actually, Amazon's selling for the same price as well. Uh, Grub has it for actually $24.99. So surprising, Grub is actually a little bit more. Now, the standard steel book, which actually they use the same design you can see here. It actually has the VHS uh, design on the steel book itself. Um, that one is very hard to get. Um, the listings of Walmart, Amazon, and Grub, they all carry them, but they're all out of stock. And not sure if they're going to be getting any more or not, so definitely keep an eye out for that. Uh, eBay, you know, you can go and get them on eBay, but you're going to pay a lot for them. Now, if you want this box set, you know, the hardcover, you know, the hard case and the actual uh, steel book with the original artwork, the art cards, and your know, certificate of authenticity and a fold out double sided poster. This is still available. Um, I looked right before I came down here to film this. Uh, Walmart does have like three or four in stock left. But the bad thing is, because of the low stock, they bump up the price. It's ninety three fourteen now. Um, Amazon still has them, but I'm not sure how many they have. They don't say, but they're running a eighty nine ninety nine. So if you want this box, you can still get it. Uh, definitely, if you're interested, jump on. You're gonna pay a lot more for it, but you can get it. Get them before you can't get them anymore. Because this set is, you know, a complete, I just, is, this set is just gorgeous. You know, I mentioned this in my unboxing. You know, sure, the steelbook gives you the VHS design. But I think with this set, it gives you the best of both worlds. Because, I mean, this thing looks like the original VHS. It got all, you know, the, you know old school Warner Brothers logo. You know, on the spine, it actually looks like a case. And of course, you know, again, the, the steel book, it has the original artwork on it. So this gives, you know, this gives you the best of both worlds. Or the, the standard steel book, you don't get the, the original design, you just get this design. So if you have the money to spend, I would recommend getting this. This is incredible. And, but again, it, if not, you can get the standard version of, you know, for $24. So that pretty much does it for my look at the 4K of Nightmare on Elm Street. Uh, please comment below. Let me know what you think. If you've got this or if you've thought about getting that. Yeah, you know, listening to the review here, check out that unboxing to see if it's what you really want. If you want to spend all the money for the, what you get here. Or if you want to look around getting a standard steel book, or if you want to get the standard slip. Now, as far as the future of the Elm Street series on 4K, there's no announcements, but there is some stuff that's leaked out. Um, I forget which director it was, a female it did. Damn, I can't remember which one it was. She let, she'd, uh, posted recently. Now, she's been working on the color timing, the work on the, the one that she did. So that definitely tell you know, even though there's no announcement, that tells us that there is work being done. And why would that just that one being done? So I would say we will be seeing the rest of these come to 4K. When that happens, I don't know, but... Definitely keep your, you know, ears to the grind, you know, check out the videos, you know, other YouTubers out there. I know Ken over at uh, Mid-Level Media is always posting that stuff. Um, Christian over at CHS, you know, check his uh, YouTube channel out because he's always uh, relaying the news for that stuff. So if, if you're interested in the rest of these, you know, check, you know, keep your eye out on those channels. Where my channel isn't news driven. So, you know, I haven't decided if I'm going to ever get into that. I think there's plenty of other news outlets out there that keeps you up to date. 
So uh, please uh, check out my other videos on my channel. Like, subscribe, turn your bell notifications on. And we'll see you soon. Geek out.